What is going on guys? Today is the 3rd of July and I just got done with my morning clients. Today is a Monday for me. I have off tomorrow for the 4th of July. So I had a pretty jam-packed morning. It's about 10 o'clock right now. I'm actually going to head over to Mark's. We're going to head to the WAC to get in a chest and tricep workout. And I'm actually going to do a tutorial video, kind of commentate over the workout itself. And um, especially kind of commentate towards the end, which I'm going to be hitting some triceps. I've had a few people asking me about how I kind of developed my triceps over the years. So I will be talking about that. And yeah. Hey. Mark needs to know how to tell you. So one of the things I do want to mention before I kind of go into the specifics on what I did to develop my triceps over these last four years or so, um, I want to talk about lagging body parts and kind of um, just genetically better body parts um, for some people versus others. So kind of my point being here, triceps for me have always been something that have developed really easily and always grown really easily on my body. And also the insertions, just how they're actually inserted into my body, the muscle that is, um, they're really ideal for an aesthetically pleasing tricep. So kind of my point being here guys, everyone's gonna have their own individual body parts that are gonna be um, genetically better and grow faster or just look aesthetically pleasing um, compared to other body parts. So for me, triceps have always been something that, um, like I said, have came pretty easy to me. Um, I like how they look and I'm not like frustrated with um, how, how they look or how they're inserted on my body, which is not the case for my chest. So for me, chest has always been something that I've kind of lagged behind. My limbs, my arms, and my legs have always been a lot better and a lot um, farther ahead in the, um, the development um, compared to my triceps or like my biceps or any other part of my limbs, like I said. So, but getting into more specifically what I've done to develop my triceps and the exercises I've used, um, the techniques I've used, etc. Um, I want to make sure that you guys understand that adhering to some sort of plan is going to be paramount over the specific exercises selection that you're using. So there's tons of different ways to develop your triceps. There's tons of different methods, um, different exercises, um, and just tons of different things you can do. But adhering to something consistently um, is going to be the main thing that you want to stick with. So. Staying consistent, like I said, with certain exercises that you find to enjoy the most and also that you find to feel the most um, in the muscle group you're trying to hit is paramount as well, guys. So you don't wanna be doing an exercise just because your favorite bodybuilder or your favorite YouTube personality loves that exercise, but you end up hating it. Like it ends up giving you joint pain or you end up feeling like you're not getting an actual pump from it or you're not getting any stimulus in the muscle group you're trying to hit. Scrap that exercise. If you're doing something you're not feeling it, you need to probably change that up. So either change form or change the exercise completely because there's hundreds of different, hundreds of different exercises out there, especially isolation exercises for triceps that you could be trying that could help you a little bit more than what you're doing right now. So that's kind of what I would say. Um, try different things out, but don't try too many things out where you're not sticking and staying consistent with a certain amount of those um, to get better at them. So you want to kind of pick a select few amount of exercises, get really good at those and progress with those. You don't have to always do the same exact exercise, but don't change it too often where you're not actually able to get used to the movement itself. The main things that I use for my triceps were my pressing movements, my compound movements. So my overhead press, my benching. Um, back in the day, we do push press um, in high school, but Really, those are the main builders of the triceps, in my opinion, just because you're able to use the most amount of weight with those. And when you're locking out, your triceps are going to be incorporated whether you want them to be or not. So that's kind of the main thing. As for isolation exercises, I would say a lot of my tricep development has come from push down exercises on cables. And whether that's with a straight bar, V bar, or rope attachment, they're all kind of to each their own. The rope you're going to be able to use a little bit less weight than you would on the v-bar and the straight bar attachment um, but it does add a little bit different stretch and tension on the tricep itself using the rope compared to the other two so those are the main things that i use for my triceps and the main things that i use um, currently um, one other thing that i've been adding in that i've really enjoyed lately that i actually found from jeff nippard's channel um, if you don't know who jeff nippard is you're definitely missing out on a lot of informative information he actually talked about in one of his tricep explain videos i believe it was one of the, um, I think it might have been arms explaining video. He talked about how using a med ball or close grip med ball push-ups, which you've probably seen on my channel, help activate the triceps um, 
and the stability added helps activate the triceps as well. So I've been adding a lot of med ball push-ups, whether it's two med balls for a deep stretch in the chest, added stability still there, um, or just one med ball and using both hands on that same med ball to kind of really engage that inner chest as well as those triceps on the lockout portion. So hopefully that kind of helps you out guys. I don't want to make this portion of the video too long, but um, like I said, if you have any other questions, let me know. But really individually, it all depends on you and what your body is feeling the most in terms of exercises and kind of what you enjoy and what you can adhere to long term. So hopefully this helps you out guys. What is going on guys? Happy 4th of July to all of you who are watching this in America. Hopefully you guys are having a great day, just spending some time with your family, relaxing a bit. That's definitely what I'm going to be doing today. I have the day off, so it's about noon right now. I'm going to go get a quick workout in at body, quick arm workout that is. Also, one more quick thing before I go hit the gym. Thank you all for the support on Manny's videos that I've put up. I believe his first one that I put up is already at almost 5,000 views, which is crazy, being that I only have about 1,400 subscribers. So thank you all. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you for subscribing, and hopefully you guys enjoy the channel. There's nothing like having a gym that you can access whenever you want on any holiday at any time. I'm very thankful. About to go pick up Andrew and Mark for fireworks. What's going on YouTube? Uh, Andrew Tom 23. Andrew, I think he wants you to take the back seat because he's six foot six. Uh, that's all right. I just got done at the um, fireworks guys uh, gonna go to Culver's gonna get a protein shake uh, Is this recording basically what he said <laughs> Is that recording bro? <laughs> That was perfect then I'm definitely putting that in there oh. All right guys <laughs> Close the vlog out here guys, I'm about to go to bed, just gonna have a serious mass, um, one scoop shake before I go to sleep just to kind of finish off the night, and um, yeah, so thank you guys, happy 4th of July, um, sorry if you can't really hear me, I'm just trying not to wake anyone up, it's pretty late right now, but um, anyways, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys very soon, peace out, have a good night guys, happy 4th of July. <laughs>